Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us, if only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? Rost told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach. Offer counsel. Give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three High Matriarchs and some thirty Lesser Matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a High Matriarch is a great-grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The High Matriarchs most of all. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. More than that, I cannot say. It's not my fault that I was born, or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter. But there are differences of opinion, and any vote of the High Matriarchs requires a majority. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the Proving. It's not like the Nora to be so... hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right, as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13, who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No. I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just... I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. Aloy, did you have further questions? I should go. Until we meet again.
out as a forest fire. Hello, Aloy. What you have in mind? Goddess protect. I wish you well. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning or proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the, the presence of a true gone. Nora? Must be good at crafting. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Good kid she's got. Must be good at crafting. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Well, the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. It's kind of tough. Are you gonna we let saw you talking talk to you with that the way? outsiders? I wouldn't. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Boss won't leave her alone. This is your battle. Where's your fight? bite, Outcast? Not mine. Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. You and I have nothing to say to each other. Stick to yourself and I'll do the same. Leave me alone. I just want to get some rust. Leave me alone. I just want to get some rust. Take it up with Bost if you've got a problem. 
It's late, and I've got nothing to say to you. I'm here for the proving, that's it. Leave me alone. I'm here for the proving, that's it. Leave me alone. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. It's her. So, your first day in Mother's Heart, what do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It's loud, and it stinks, and the people are... idiots. Mm. All these people who kept me out. And now here I am, stuck inside with them. I think you'll find more to like in the days ahead. Get some rest. Ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? It's a grazer! 